Hey everybody, Laura with Quarterback K9 Training. I wanted to show you how to put all your collars on. So if you're working with an e-collar, we usually have them using a prong collar at the same time and just want to show you the correct sequence of how to put these collars on. So right here we'll show you with Callie. Callie, sit. Good. So you can see Callie's wearing her regular flat collar with her ID and everything. The next collar that goes on after that is her e-collar. And remember, the fit of the e-collar will usually mark it for you exactly where it needs to go. But the fit of the e-collar, you want it tight enough so that when you move the e-collar, her skin moves and you're not moving the whole e-collar around. And again, the box goes to one side of the neck or the other, just underneath the ears, just like so. The next collar to go on is her prong collar. Again, making sure you've got the O-ring next to her neck and the swivel ring on the outside, just like so. Underneath her ears. And always use two hands to move the prong collar around on her neck. And the last thing that we do here for safety is we connect a carabiner from the D ring of the flat collar to the little O ring of the prong collar, just like so. So you can see there, that's our little safety. If the prong collar ever came apart, then we would still be connected to the flat collar right there because this is where you're going to attach your leash. So you have flat collar, e-collar, prong collar, little e-collar sandwich like we like to call it, with a carabiner attached from the D-ring of the flat collar to the O-ring of the prong collar. And right here with the swivel ring of the prong collar is where you're going to attach your leash. And then you're all set up. So if you walk your dog on the left-hand side, Callie, sit. Good. You want your leash set up kind of on the right-hand side of the dog. So that's the side that we walk Callie on, and she is all ready to go.